Hey, I'm Maria. And I'm Tyler. And this year, we're your hosts for the Make-A-Wish Telethon. Although this year has been like no other, we still need to unite together for a cause greater than ourselves. Make-A-Wish. We a need wish. to bring our community and empathy together and not just think about ourselves, but think about others. Although this year's Make-A-Wish event is not going to be as traditional as others, we still need to keep the spirit of Make-A-Wish alive. During this telethon, we won't just learn about our Make-A-Wish kid or the history of Make-A-Wish, but learn about how our community comes together. We're going to see pies in the face, rap battles, and all kinds of other crazy stuff for Noah. How would you describe yourself, Noah? Happy. Noah has always enjoyed many things and has been a very adventurous and curious kid. Yeah, I think he has a rich curiosity that uh, he's always trying to figure out things. Well, Noah loves to build things. He loves dinosaurs. Um, he likes to build habitats. He's very much an animal lover. Yeah, he likes to mount, mountain bike, ski. Um, he's gone to mountain bike camp and so and ridden trails in Fruta. Uh, so he's, he's pretty adventurous. Once Noah started to feel sick, that's when everything changed for the family. Noah was diagnosed with cancer at five years old. So Noah was diagnosed with bilateral wilms. It's a very common kidney cancer, but what is not common in Noah's situation is that he had tumors on both of his kidneys. It was basically undetected. Like when we found out Noah had cancer, it was a complete shock. He had like a stomach ache and we thought he might have appendicitis and we took him to the emergency room and they, you know, they did a, a scan and our lives just changed like that. They're like, you need to go to Children's Hospital immediately. There's a large mass on his kidney. Along the way, Noah's family faced difficult challenges and obstacles during treatment. Uh, you know, treatment was tough. I mean, um, you know, you're seeing your five-year-old son get chemicals pumped through his body. Uh, it's pretty, pretty tough. Um, you know, the chemo would make him sick. Um, we really wanted to make sure that there was a sense of normalcy as best as we could provide it. Um, you know, navigating the circumstance. We made our lives as normal as possible. Like we would get, have Noah's treatments done on Friday so he could spend the weekends recouping and then he would be ready for school on Monday. So we tried to maintain normalcy. With all of the treatment, Noah and his family stayed hopeful and has had lots of support from the community. The community really surrounded us. And I think honestly, that's what got us through uh, Noah going through cancer and you would not believe how many dinosaurs came to our house. Like, we have hundreds of dinosaurs. People would just drop them off at our doorstep. Uh, we just feel blessed uh, that we've had the community support and um, that this was so close for us. Now being cancer-free, Noah is six years old and is looking forward to his Make-A-Wish. And Make-A-Wish contacted us. We asked him what he wanted to do, and that was his first response is, I want to go dig for dinosaurs. And so they found this place in Montana that is an actual dig, and uh, we were uh, really excited, and he was really excited about that. During Wish Week, Eagle Valley will come together to raise money and help Noah grant his wish of going to a fossil dig in Montana. What was your Make-A-Wish? To go find fossils. What kind of fossils are you hoping you find? Teeth. You know, and I know Jason feels this way too, we're so grateful for everyone's support and we want to give back. So when Sarah from Make-A-Wish called us, we're like, absolutely, we would love to be a part of this. But guess what? They are raising money for the Make-A-Wish Foundation so they can fulfill another child's wish. Just like your wish is going to be fulfilled so you can go dig for dinosaurs. Isn't that cool? The Make-A-Wish Foundation works to grant wishes for children diagnosed with critical illnesses. A few years back in our school community, we were approached to grant these kids wishes. And we couldn't turn that down for two reasons. Number one was we needed to help someone in our community. And number two was our fellow classmates and students would have a big heart to help us out. This year marks the fourth year Eagle Valley High School has celebrated Wish Week. Eagle Valley's Wish Week was inspired by Mr. Doan's experiences at his previous school. 
So uh, when I experienced a Wish Week before, it was one of the most amazing community events I'd ever seen in a school for anything. I worked as an assistant principal in uh, Highlands Ranch, and that's when I first uh, got connected with the idea of Wish Week. So the school I was at there um, did an event, um, and I was uh, an assistant principal. Um, and in the last year I was an assistant principal, we did a Wish Week and was connected with the Make-A-Wish Foundation. So I'd always wanted to sort of bring that here and, and try it with Eagle Valley High School. Wish Week has had a powerful impact on not just our school, but our whole community. The goal of Wish Week is to raise money and provide a child in need with a wish. In the past, Eagle Valley High School has raised up to $25,000 in just one week to make someone's wish a reality. I think that it's important because it's just such a great way to make the community come together and the school come together and I think it's such a cool way to get everybody involved in something that doesn't have to do with themselves it's like something bigger. I think for the students what what it's always been about is can you think about somebody other than yourself and and when it's somebody and our wish kids have always been from our community they've been from here in Eagle County so literally you're, you're saying here's somebody else in need and can I do something for them above myself? Students and faculty contribute so much for Wish Week. A lot of work is put into set up decorations and organize events in order to raise more money. The people who go above and beyond to help with Wish Week are responsible for making all these kids' wishes come true. Uh, there was a student who actually graduated last year, but in the first year we did Wish Week. I didn't know this student, um, but they, uh, first of all, volunteered and did things during the week just to help out. And then on the day of the assembly, they had cut their hair, dyed it with this, the student's name in it, and then came out and dumped an entire bag of money that they had individually raised. Our school was unable to do a lot of the celebrations this year because of COVID-19. Things such as the opening and closing ceremonies had to be cut in order to ensure everyone's safety. However, a lot of effort was put in to give us many opportunities to have fun and come together as a school. We can do it virtually, you know, like we've learned, we can have a virtual graduation and we can do a, a Wish Week telethon and do things virtually. Um, but, you know, I think these things are meant to be experienced and uh, you experience those in person. So we'll miss that, but it'll still be good. I think that things don't change, you know, having stuff virtual. I think that people should still be open to, to change a life, you know, to give a dollar, to give two, to give three. Wish Week has done many great things for our community. It's brought our school closer together, it's given many families joy and happiness, and of course, Wish Week has helped raise the money to make many kids' wishes a reality. Without Wish Week, none of this would have been possible. I just want to encourage anybody that maybe isn't usually involved in school stuff to like just really like try to be involved with this and like really learn more about it because I think it's such a cool thing that I, our school does. Yeah, so I just want to um encourage everybody that's at the high school right now. I know that things have been rough and that a pandemic is still happening, but that doesn't stop us from being good people. If all of these schools across the nation would adopt this, we'd be one step closer on make, we, we'd be one step closer on making the world a little more perfect. In a quest to pin the tail on the donkey, Will joined our fencing team to practice on how to pin the tail on the donkey. With Wish Week around the corner, the community has been banding together in support of NOAA. The fencing team is no stranger to support and are a welcoming and supportive group. Their coach, Mr. Overcash, is passionate about the sport and gives great advice on the techniques of fencing. In order to spread awareness, a pin the tail on the donkey activity game was set up to see who could get the closest in support of NOAA. There were many great attempts and the donkey proved to be an ass towards the competitors. After seeing Mr. Bartlett take an early lead, I was determined to achieve the top spot. One of the main techniques in fencing is the heel-to-toe motion to move forward and backward from your opponent. With this new level of training and spunk, I was ready to conquer the challenge and prove everyone wrong. Victory! Overall, this was such a fun experience that showed me a great inside look into fencing. I would highly recommend joining the fencing team and donating for Wish Week. 
The devils are behind Noah and are actively working to make his wish come true. The basketball team was well wanted to participate in this Make-A-Wish telethon. Now we go to them to see how they participate in the Dizzy Bat race. Wish Week is here. To honor our Wish Kid Noah, members of the EVHS basketball team have volunteered to do a Dizzy Bat Relay Race, where they spin around a bat and try their best to shoot the ball into the basket. So, they made their teams and they were ready to race. We're the basketball team. We support Make a Wish. A few years back, there was a dome versus dome rap battle. This year, we approach with the new dome to the mic. Now we go to the ultimate rap battle part two. Welcome to the first ever Eagle Valley High School rap battle. Uh, I am Greg Doan, and uh, my official rapper name actually is Prince D. Pal. And I'm joined here by my fellow rapper slash contestant today. I'll let him introduce himself. Thank you, Prince DePal. I am Gavin Doan, a.k.a. Speech Monster. And today we bring you something very special. That's right. We're about to throw down some nasty, nasty rhymes over some very popular children's books. So we're going to blow your minds here in a second. And I'd just uh, like to remind you that as the older, wiser father in this situation that I'm aware that this rapper over here only started to read when they were like five. And I've been reading for way longer than that. Mm. Well, I hope you have fun when your spine breaks under the weight of my sick rhymes. Whoa, whoa, that's a bit violent. But um, so we're going to have our DJ uh, crank up these these tunes. Uh, my f uh, selection for today is Pajama Time by Sandra Boyton. Uh, many of you may know it, but you may not have heard it rap before. So here we go. Mm. Yeah. It's getting serious on this track, fam. This song here is going out to the onesie nation. All you girls and guys out there that wear a onesie, you know how comfortable they are. Mm. Yeah. Here we go. The moon is up, it's getting late Let's get ready to celebrate It's pajama time mm. Pull on the bottoms, put on the top Get yourself set to pajama de bop It's pajama time Now you might know some are old, some are new Some are red, some are blue, some are fuzzy, some are not but we can all pajammy in whatever we got It's pajama time They say, oh yeah, it's pajama time Now some are pink and some are green Some are the ugliest you've ever seen They might be stripy or polka dot But we can all pajammy in whatever we got It's pajama time Jammy to the left, jammy to the right Jamma, 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 PJ. Everybody's wearing them for dancing tonight. Jamma, 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 PJ. Now all around the room in one big line, wearing our pajamas and looking so fine. It's pajama time. Hop into bed, turn out the light. You can have a party in your dreams tonight. It's pajama time. Hush, hush, it's pajama time. It's pajama time. Shh. Good night. Mm. Sleep tight. Bam. Whoa. 
What's up, party animals? You ready to dance with your boy? Speech monster! Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Stomp your feet. Clap your hands. Everybody ready for a barnyard dance? Bow to the horse. Bow to the cow. Uh, uh. Twirl with a pig if you know how. Bounce with the bunny. Strut with a duck. Spin with the chickens now. Cluck, cluck, cluck. With a ba and a moo and a cock a doo doo doo. Everybody promenade. Two by two. Uh, yeah. Prance with the horses. Skitter with the mice. Swing with your partner once or twice. Stand with the donkey. And slide with the sheep. Scramble with the little chicks. Cheap, cheap, cheap. With a neigh and a moo and a cock a doodle doo. Another little promenade two by two. Drop with the turkey. Mm, mm. Leap with the frog. Take another spin with the barnyard dog. Turn with the cow and a patch of clover. All take a bow and the dance is over. That's it? Yeah, that's the, that's the, that's the, that's the whole that's the whole book. That's the whole book. Okay, good job. Nice. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, that was a pretty good battle there. Thank mm-hmm. you, Sandra Boyton, for your your words that inspired us today. Oh yeah, um, thank thank you so much, Sandra Boyton, for carrying me to victory there. Uh, this, I really appreciate it. Yeah, uh, I'm great. pretty sure. I'm pretty sure what needs to happen now is just like a children's book. You need to get a pacifier and go to bed because mm. you're you're gonna cry when the votes come in about how much better mine was. So ah, sure, sure. Yeah. So thank you, Uva High School. It's all about Wish Week. Uh, thank mm-hmm. you for uh, giving your your time and your effort mm-hmm. uh, to support the Make a Wish Foundation. We really appreciate it. Uh, Rap Battle 2021 out. Peace out. As a part of Wish Week, NHS had a fundraiser. This fundraiser was pieing teachers in the face. We got to raise money to pie any one of your favorite teachers. <laughs>
Even though Make-A-Wish was not normal this year, we are still able to pull off to raise money for Noah. Between NHS fundraisers, Stuco events, and t-shirt sales, we were able to raise a lot of money. We couldn't pull this off without your support. Thank you so much for tuning into this Wish Week Telethon. If you still want to donate, there's a link in our description for you to donate to Noah's Wish. Let's get Noah out there digging fossils for his Make-A-Wish. <laughs>